Hey guys, Ray again. This is part 10 of the boat build. In part 8, we worked on the transom. Part 9, we closed in the bow and injected it full of foam. In part 10, I'm going to show you how I'm making this tunnel in the bottom of the boat to uh, hold. It Really, the only purpose of it is to hold uh, more uh, flotation foam. And it's actually insulation board that I'm using as uh, flotation foam just in case. The other purpose of this tunnel is to elevate the seating platform just above the floor so at least you have a little bit of leg room. Uh, it's going to be a narrow small boat anyway so having a few inches about uh, three and a half to four inches of elevation will give you that much more comfort um, and also will give me a place to attach the seats because guess what I don't want to put any screws going down through the bottom and uh, accidentally going too far so that's what we're going to be working on coming up. Now you'll notice that I'm not going to glue these in place. The reason I'm not gluing these in place is because the ends are the only place I really have good contact. The bottom has got some gaps here and there. I'm only touching in a couple of spots so there's really no point in gluing the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm, I am attaching them and I know somebody's going to say something about the uh, fasteners here. The fact that these are not stainless steel or bronze or uh, unobtainium, you know how some boat guys are, uh, is irrelevant because I'm only using the screws just to hold these in place. By the time I'm done filleting the uh, outside with epoxy, uh, it won't matter. It won't. It will not matter. It's going to be held on plenty strong. Plus, remember, I'm going to have a cap board that goes across it that's going to be well fastened. So these uh, fasteners, these pocket screws, are here only to just attach these rails to hold them in place while I put everything else on. All right, so I went ahead and made these off camera because honestly it was just the same thing as the center part of the boat. And I discovered something interesting and unexpected. So uh, I'm gonna put this in here so you can see. This is where this part goes. But if you watch it carefully, you'll see that there is a bit of a bow right in the center of my boat so I didn't notice it before this has just the littlest bit of a hump uh, I could scribe this piece of wood to fit but I'm not going to I think I'm going to just put a cleat on here to hold it in place glue it down let it set and um, it'll just have a little bit of a bow in this side piece of the tunnel it won't matter because the the seating board that goes on top is going to follow that contour and I'm not concerned with it uh, it's a little bit more obvious the problem with this one. That one's a little tight so you couldn't see it. You can see how much rock it is. Now both sides are straight, it's just that it's a tapered piece. But you can see it's got quite a bit of rock in it, which is just the slightest bit of hump in the, uh, in the bottom of the boat. So let's get started. So while we wait for the back of the tunnel to cure, I'm going to go ahead and do the inside perimeter of the middle section of the tunnel. And if you notice, check, take a look at that. You see how loose, or not loose, but how flexible that is? Um, once I apply this bead and we come back tomorrow, 
I think you'll be surprised how stiff that is. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the entire interior perimeter of this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little baker's tool. It's actually Betty Crocker uh, and it works very well for making those fillets. The same thing I did up front. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that here. This is one, just to make sure these connections are nice and secure. And two, just an added extra, making sure that no water will get into this compartment under normal use. takes a minute to clean off just wipe it off because if you let it harden on here you're gonna have a nightmare cleaning it up and that way I've got it ready for the next use which will be the other side uh, I'm waiting for that side to cure because I've wet the surfaces and I need that glue to be finished curing before I do this uh, again this is just a precaution so that since this area is going to be unfinished, the water can't get in there. I think it'll be fine. Well, if you're new to my channel, you may not recognize the table that I'm cutting this on. This table I built about a month ago, and I've got some videos on that. I'll put a link in it so you can check that out. But uh, the nice thing about having a seven foot picnic table is being able to cut eight foot sheets very comfortably. So I'm gonna rip down a couple of pieces here from this leftover sheet, and we'll go back to the boat. My wife would not be happy if I cut through her brand new table. <laughs> All right, to the boat. All right, as you can see, I've got the middle section of the tunnel already uh, filled in with the foam. And what I did, because, because of the polyurethane I put in the bottom, I've created a bit of a fillet down there. So I took the foam, measured it carefully, and then you can see that the corners are chamfered to make room for the uh, polyurethane in the bottom. And the way I chamfer them is real simple. I just use one of these short foam blocks. Um, the one thing I would say, instead of using them the way you would think, the way I did it is I actually held it perpendicular and rubbed it this way, and it actually uh, cut it very nicely without digging in tremendously. So um, if you're gonna be shaping foam like this, this is a great tool for that. Um, and I got it to fit pretty darn tight. Like so. Uh, one of the issues is because of all the geometry, my side rails, and you may not have noticed that, you may not have noticed that, uh, they're actually tapered, so here it's about three inches, down here it's about an inch and a half, maybe two. Um, again, it's the same story here and up to three and a half up there. So I'm going to have to cut a couple of tapered pieces. So I'm, that's why I've got a, a few extras. I'm going to take this one, uh, get it to fit, then I'm going to uh, mark the edges of where that uh, taper starts and stops, split it down the middle, and cut it on the bandsaw. You're going to see all that next. Okay, so now that I got this fitted, I'm going to mark the edges, split it down the middle, and then cut the wedges and bring it all back.
Okay, while it's not perfect, it's pretty good. So it's actually just a slight bit proud, which will be great because it'll compress when I put the top plate on. Okay, now the pieces I cut off from the back are gonna be perfect to use right here. I got about a half an inch or so that I need to fill. These do not need to be any longer than this point here. Now they're not perfect because the width of this section is slightly different from that, from that section, but the reality is that's not going to matter. I'm just going to go ahead and scribe these the same way I did the others and cut it on the bandsaw. Okay, there I have eased these edges, which is much easier to do before I attach the, uh, the top of the tunnel. And um, yeah, once this is glued, which I'm gonna do next, the tunnel is complete. And that is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to glue it down and put some screws in it. You've seen me do that before. I don't think there's any need to cover that. I think that's gonna be the end of part 10. In the next installation of this video series, I'm going to go ahead and fiberglass the plywood parts paint the interior in epoxy and we'll get started on the deck so the end is near I think that the deck is gonna go rather quickly and uh, it's gonna be a total transformation from what you've seen uh, the last couple of parts after part 7 so 8 9 and now 10 you've seen a lot of close-ups of the interior you may have forgotten what this boat looks like um, I'm, I always put a link to the series uh, playlist so you can check out the previous parts but uh, in part 11 I'm gonna go I'm gonna move the camera back and we're gonna look at the outside shape and plan the deck so it's going to be very exciting thank you all for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and hit that little bell to be updated on all my future videos